Hello everyone, I'm Chef Mom Rosebud. So for those of you who don't know me, I used to have a cooking show on QTV11, which is called Katuk Lutong Barkada. And then I had Quick Fire. Quick Fire was a 10 minute cooking show, which aired every day on QTV11. So aside from being a chef, I'm also a mom, and I love talking, I love sharing recipes, I love cooking. That's why I decided to come up with this vlog. So, sa vlog na ito, I'll be sharing a lot of recipes, a lot of healthy dishes, and aside from that, I'll also be sharing motherhood and parenting tips, meron ding travel, meron ding lifestyle. So, basically, everything under the sun, which I know moms could relate to. So, for this episode, magsishare ako sa inyo ng isang masarap, Madale at madinam nam na recipe that you could share to your kids and of course to kids at heart. So let's go to the kitchen. So for my first recipe, na isip ko mag-share sa inyo na isang bawon idea dahil back to school na. I'm sure na yung mga mommies dyan, ito yung mga isa sa dilemma nila na kung ano ba yung lulutuin nila for their kids. So this is a very simple recipe. It's actually a classic recipe pero lalagyan ko ng aking sariling twist. And it's called my bacon truffle mac and cheese. So for our ingredients, we need, of course, bacon. We need our elbow macaroni. We need our truffle oil. And there's, of course, garlic, onion, egg, milk, cayenne pepper, paprika, and of course, ang hindi nawawalang ingredients sa bawat pagluluto ang ating salt and pepper. So let's start cooking. Kailangan natin munang simulan ay open natin tong ating so, then let's put our pan here. So, pag magluluto tayo ng bacon, we actually don't have to add oil anymore because bacon it itself is very oily. So, makikita niyo mamaya pag niluto ko to, lalabas yung mantika from the bacon. Another way of doing this is you place it in a baking dish and then just bake it in the oven until maging crispy siya. Pwede rin naman yun. Pero since... Alam ko yung mga mommies dyan, not everyone naman has an oven. Or syempre pag mommy, maraming gusto gawin, di ba? Parang you're pressed for time, pero gusto mo magluto for your kids. So ito maganda tong idea na to. Kasi one pot meal lang siya. So you only need one pot, pagluto, at saka paglinis, mabilis lang din. So we'll just wait for this to cook. Makikita nyo naman, ayan o. Oh. Naririnig nyo na rin yung sizzling sound. And if you can notice, ayan, lumalabas na yung mantika sa ating bacon. So this is good. Let me just get my plate. I'll lower the heat. Ayan. So I'll just set this aside. I'll let this cool. And then later on, babalikan ko siya to chop it up. So the next thing that we need to do, using the same pan with the bacon fat para mas flavorful, let me just add some onions. So let's cook the onion until it becomes translucent. Now we add in our garlic. So for me, every time I cook, the more garlic flavor, the better. And yung garlic, just make sure na... Ayan, huwag natin masusunog kasi pag nasunog yung garlic, nag-leave off siya ng bitter taste. So we want lang na medyo mag-brown lang ng konti. Let's lower the heat. So we have milk and one piece of egg here. So I will just combine it. So the egg will act as a thickener for our milk. And aside from that, it will also give a, uh, a different flavor to our dish. Yung iba kasi ginagamit nila talagang milk lang, walang egg. But me, I prefer na may egg pa siya. And let's add our milk very slowly into the pan. So, on low heat lang yan. And then, we'll add paprika and cayenne pepper. So, dun sa mga moms na hindi masyadong mahilig sa ang hang or may kick, may spice, pwede nyo namang i-omit na to. But, you know, just a little is enough. So, just mix that. Mix that all there. Let the flavors combine. And then what's next is, I'll be adding the cheese. So, I have here some grated cheese. This is cheddar cheese. 
Pwede rin naman kayong gumamit ng ibang klaseng cheese. You know, whatever you find available in the market. Sa kung ano yung gusto ng kids na nakainin, yun ang gamitin nyo. Alam naman na cheese, parang ano to eh. It's a magic ingredient. Once you put cheese, everything just tastes really good. So let's mix that here. So we'll just let this melt. And just mix that. And I'll be adding some Parmesan cheese as well. Kasi nga, masarap ang cheese. And nobody would ever complain that if there's too much cheese in a dish. Kasi it really makes your dish taste good. Sabi nga, diba? Yan yung ano. May umami flavor. And so let's just mix that. Mix, 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 mix. On low heat lang because pag high heat, baka masunog yung milk niyo. So just mix it all. So at this point, titikman ko muna kung masarap na ba siya, kung anong kulang. It's very important that you taste it para, diba, alam mo yung isiserve mo sa family mo. Kaya ako, pagka nagluluto ako, di na ako nakakakain kasi kakatikin. Kakatikin pa lang, busog na. So, let's just add a little bit of salt. And pepper. And mix it. Mix it some more. And I already have here pre-cooked um, elbow macaroni noodles. So, pag, ano naman, pag noodles, alam naman natin kailangan medyo al dente yung pagkaluto. Al dente means firm to the bite. So, ayun natin ng soggy na noodles. So, you just, the way I cook my noodles, I heat a pot of water, add some salt, and then, once boiling, I put the noodles inside. Mga nine, eight, nine minutes, I take it off already. Kasi ayoko siyang ma-overcook. Especially with this one, ihahalo pa natin siya ulit dito sa pot. So, maluluto na naman siya. Baka ma-overcook. So, you have to be very, very careful. At this point, I could turn off the heat already because I'm just gonna be mixing everything here. Make sure na coated lahat because, of course, lahat gusto natin ng macaroni. Meron siyang ample amount of the sauce. Truffle oil, you can buy this at the grocery. So, syempre, di ba yung truffle mushroom? It's kind of expensive. So, there's this culinary ingredient which is readily available in the supermarket. So, it gives you the taste and aroma of truffles. Okay, I'll just be adding around... 3 tablespoons of, of the truffle oil. <laughs> okay, so luto na ating macaroni and cheese. Let me just get our bacon, syempre. Sa pampampalasa to. Huwag natin kalimutan. Chop ko muna siya. Okay, here go. And then just mix it. Give it a quick stir lang. Ambilis. Here, let's get an ample amount of our mac and cheese. Okay. There you go. And then we add in some bacon. Lagyan pa natin ng konting cream. Additional parmesan cheese. So, if you have any greens at home like parsley, pwede kayong maglagay and just place it on top like that, something like that. It's very easy to make, diba? Hassle-free sa mga moms na on the go but would want to prepare delicious recipes for their kids. So, there you have it, ang aking bacon shuffle mac and cheese. So thank you for watching and I hope that you can try cooking this at home, ang aking bacon truffle mac and cheese. And of course, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you again next time!